Well, friends, okay. So, uh, this is uh, the tail end of our driveway. Uh, actually, this driveway belongs to um, another landowner. We have a right of way here. Um, and from this vantage point, you can see I'm looking down on the truck. I'm about 50 feet away, if that. And uh, our driveway ends right down there. And as you look up in this direction, it continues up the hill around that way, up to the top of that ridge. And I got my truck around that curve. It stopped and started spinning. That curve, it turns out, is ice underneath all of this snow. So, uh, yeah. So I slid back. I had no control of the vehicle. I was able to get it into this little ditch, which is not really much of a ditch at all, and uh, ended up ended up right there. And I'm done. I'm stuck. I can't uh, can't move from there. There's no weight in the back end of that truck. I don't have chains uh, on the tires. Um, I am stuck. I'm going to go grab the tractor. I've got the winch on the back of the truck. What I'll do is winch the back end of the truck back onto the road, um, and we'll uh, we'll see if I can tow it up with the tractor. I don't think I'm going to have much luck with that as well because um, it's it's too icy. So we'll see what happens, folks. Wish me luck. Well, hello, friends. I made it up to the house. I had to carry the groceries up here. Um, I went ahead and made a little bit of breakfast because I uh, hadn't had a chance to eat anything yet today. Now I'm ready to head down and we're going to try to get that truck out of there. Now earlier I said I might use the winch to try to get that uh, truck out. All I really need to do is get the back end back on the driveway and then possibly what I'm going to do at that point is just slowly work my way backwards to the end of the drive. Um, I'm taking the Coyote down with me um, because I may end up just using that to kind of nudge the back end of the truck over onto the driveway. We're going to see what works best. I'm also thinking about putting the box blade um, on the back of this thing for the purpose of breaking up some of that ice. It'll do a better job of breaking up the ice surface than the plow blade attachment will. So that's the plan. We're going to see how well that works. Um, come along with me, folks. It's an adventure, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, scar flyers, rippers, whatever you want to call them, they're down, ready for action. Let's get rolling.
folks. I'm on ice. I can't do it, folks. It's uh, it's, it's too treacherous. I've got the uh, box blade down right now as a way of sort of uh, giving me extra braking power, but I'm still sliding. I'm gonna have to back up and regroup. I don't have chains. Uh, and this is not the steep part of the driveway. The steep part is coming. I don't stand a chance, folks. So uh, the ravine over there, that ravine is uh, too dangerous, folks. I can't, uh, I can't do it. I I'm sorry, folks, but I, I gotta cut this short right here and come up with another plan. All right, all right. Uh, okay, so I think I have something that's working. I figured out what was going wrong. For one, my gearbox came out of four-wheel drive. That was a problem. Now, the other thing I found out is I was pulling up so much snow with the box blade back here uh, that it was actually not allowing the uh, scarifiers to dig into the ice. Now I'm able to back over this hump and I'm going to just uh, try to dig up a little bit more ice as I go here. Uh, I may end up having to take the blade later and come back to remove a lot of this snow. So, all right. Well, I'm on a flat spot right now. We'll, we'll see how this goes here. Right about 75 feet ahead, I have another hill coming, and it's a pretty steep slope. Uh, I'm gonna concentrate on this. Uh, I have to turn this off for right now. Coming back in a little bit, okay? Wish me luck. So I don't know if the scarifiers are digging in very far. I think they're doing a pretty good job, uh, but uh, it's, uh, it's rough going, folks. I'm gonna try to get down to my truck here and I'll turn the camera back on so you folks can see what's going on there. All right, folks, I came up with another idea. I'm getting ready to go down another steep grade here. This one's steeper than the last one. I gotta be careful here. But I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the bucket to clear the path in front of the tractor while I'm pulling the, uh, the uh, box blade or the ripper, whatever we want to call that thing in the back of the tractor, while I'm pulling it behind. Um, and hopefully that'll create enough friction to kind of stabilize me. And if I have to, I can always kind of just put the, bucket, uh, the front end loader bucket down into the road to stop me. So we'll, we'll see what happens here, okay? All right, folks, that seems to be uh, doing the trick. It's keeping me moving slow, and uh, I don't feel like I'm losing any traction. I'm getting ready to go down that steep, steep slope right there. I'm actually starting on it right now. I'm parked here. I've got the box blade dug in. Uh, we're good. The front end loader is down, and you can see there's no snow accumulating in the box blade. That's because the front end loader bucket is picking it up before it has a chance to get back there. So I think this is going to work okay for me. Right now, friction is the name of the game, and... Uh, so we're gonna go slow and steady. We'll make it to the end, okay? I'll catch up with you down there.
Okay, folks, I have to apologize for the exposure and all of that stuff. I, this is this is major crisis for me here. I, I am not taking much time to correct exposures and check focus and all that stuff. So I hope that this content is coming out okay. Uh, I'm down at the most treacherous part now. This right here is the last downhill slope. I have to be able to navigate. Uh, and over here to my left, let me see if I can get over there. This is where the truck is. And uh, it's in the ditch here. It's around the curb. So uh, that's my destination, folks. But first things first, I gotta be able to get down there. So uh, let me finish this up. We'll get to it. Okay, I just discovered another problem. The scarifiers are not digging into the ground because the tilt on the box blade is front end high. So I'm not digging in. Uh, this is where a hydraulic top link would come in really handy. Um, don't have one, so I gotta make some adjustments here and hopefully we'll get to tear this ice up a little bit. This is really icy right here. This is where all the ice accumulates. So let me get that to happen here. I'll bring you along, come on. Okay, I gotta take the top link i got to shorten it to make these scar fires go down into the ground a little bit more. So, all right, let's try that. Well, friends, I don't think I'm gonna make it. The tractor doesn't have enough traction. This part right through here is, uh, it's frozen solid, folks. I mean, it looks like it might have some friction because of some of the dirt I was able to break free, but there's so much ice around this curve, I can't get the tractor back up it. And of course, I'm not gonna be able to get the truck back up it. So uh, the plan right now is to uh, go ahead and get this truck out. I've got the tractor parked down there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, I'm probably going to end up using my winch to pull the back end of this truck back onto the driveway. Um, I thought about using the tractor but I don't know that I can. So all I got to do is winch this thing in this direction 
get it back onto the road here, onto the driveway. And then it's another two tenths of a mile to the end where I can finally uh, just uh, get back on solid road again and I'll just drive four miles around to Heartland and we'll park up at Heartland for now. So uh, that's the situation, folks. So the winch is mounted on the back. I've got, a, got it mounted to my two inch receiver. And so I'm gonna come out of the winch at an angle this way back toward me. And uh, there's a tree, not a very substantial one, but there is a tree right there. I'll anchor it as low as I can on that one, or I'll find maybe there's another one. Yeah, it looks like there's one right there that might be a better candidate. So I'll pull a tractor ahead and we'll get the winch and possibly even a rope going. I might winch, I might connect to the tractor even and, and see if I can have use a tractor as an anchor and swing this back end over. I don't know, we'll, we'll see what we can do. All right, folks, I think I can get out now. I've got the back end on the driveway. So uh, now it's just a matter of letting gravity take over and get me down this driveway.
well friends I, I made it down but uh, when I was walking down here to place the camera I hit a patch of just slick ice my feet went out from under me my gear went flying out of my hands I broke my camera case broke a lens and uh, I don't know what this video looks like I don't know what it's gonna look like I'm just glad to be off of that driveway right now now it's just a matter of headed out to the road that way it's pretty flat and uh, I have to park over at Heartland walk from Heartland over to the 13 acre house come back here to uh, there's Susie come back here to get the tractor hey Sus so uh, oh, that's cool I'm glad I, I'm glad I didn't leave yet because uh, she'd have to walk all the way back up to 13 acre house She's way up there I don't know if you can see her. I don't know what you can see, honestly. So, folks, I'm going to wait till Susie gets here. Scared I scared you. Why? Yeah. Well, it was quite an ordeal. Uh, I couldn't get the tractor even around that curve there. It's stuck right there. I'm going to have oh. to bring it down this way like I did the oh, truck. Okay, it's not stuck coming down. It's, it's not stuck going right. Well, yeah, well, it's, yeah, it is. I, there's no way I could go back up. That's, you're standing right where I just flopped on my back, just to your right oh. there. Man, I landed flat on my keister. Um, I made it all the way to the canopy, and then I was like, oh, good, I'll ride the four wheeler over. No keys. Oh. But at least the windshield is under the canopy. Yeah. So, and walked all the way over to the house with my work shoes in, like... Really? In your clogs? Yeah. Or, yeah, your, whatever they are, the dance skins? Yeah, I didn't have any dance boots. Goes. I thought this morning I should have <sighs> threw boots in, but I yeah. found a hat, though. So at least I had well, a hat. Well, I was able to use the winch to get the truck out, and then I just, gravity just let me back out of here. Uh, so now well we can we'll take the back. truck to the circle yeah if you want I'll take the truck over. well that'll work why don't you take the truck I'll go back and get the tractor and I'm gonna just drive around some other way on the road yeah yeah have to. that's right. fine and you know what you can follow me or I'll follow you let me follow you with the all flashers right. all right because I'm probably gonna take Gulf Force Road uh, you don't think so no it's gravel because, no. I mean, like I said, 21's not even touched. I know right. that road's not touched. Well, and it might be okay with the tractor, but do you think I'll be all right with the truck? I'll tell you what. Just uh, let's go ahead and take Buckhorn. We'll take Buckhorn. And um, Williams Road was all right. Yeah. But I was in four, and I just kept moving. Thankfully, nobody was coming. All right. We're going to wrap this up. The camera, I don't even know if it's working, honestly. We'll find out. But, uh, it's so wet. I know. It, it, the, the lens broke. A bunch of stuff. Oh. Okay. Bad. So I don't know if they can hear me. But, uh, folks, if you can, we're going to tune out here because it's not going to get any better. The snow is coming down even harder, uh, and it's just getting thicker. So we got to get back home. And we are not going to make it up the house driveway. Right. But I made it up the Heartland driveway with the Jeep. That's good news. All so, right, folks. See you. Um, I don't know, I guess we'll see you at the editing table. Uh, love you all. Stay kind to one another. Be safe out there. Stay warm. Okay, see ya.